I just bought the best rank in the entire game. Hey YouTube, welcome back to another video. So in this video, I'll be showing how to get the best rank quickly. I made a video already how to get the last best rank, but I have better tips for this one. So, the first thing that you really gotta do, the most important thing in the whole game, is pets. So, what you want to do, do not waste your time by opening a whole bunch of pets. The best way to get pets is by trading, because it takes so long to open pets. And you can just trade uh, some okay pets up, or trade your friends if they give you pets. So, it's way easier just to trade for pets. Because I got most of my stuff from trading. I've only crafted one of these. Because I traded a whole bunch of eternalized other pets that people were collecting and stuff to get all of these. But I have an entire team of the best pets before this update. Because this update had elite pets which are really hard to get to the immortal level. But they're supposed to be super good. But yeah, that's the first thing you gotta do. Make sure to trade as much as you can. Next thing that's really important is instead of spending your chi on eggs, you gotta save it up to buy shurikens because they give you a ninjutsu bonus, which is actually pretty overpowered. And hopefully they fix it soon because right now it only gives it to your original amount bonus. So it only adds a little bit to my already 850 times rank boost, but whenever they fix that, then it will be super overpowered. Third thing you gotta do is not waste time fighting the boss, because that only gives Chi, and Chi isn't really that good. Well, it is good for buying the shurikens, but you don't need to have a lot of it for pets and everything. So, another thing that's really important or actually probably the second most important thing to get good fast is to always get the treasure chests around the map whenever you can because some people just abandon them and never open them but they're super overpowered to open a lot because they give you huge chi bonuses, soul bonuses and a whole bunch more. For me it gives 60 which I can buy the next thing already and here I still don't have enough for the training area because I need a hundred karma. I have enough chi for that but it's also really important to buy these light or dark skills because well you unlock training areas and training areas are really overpowered to train in. Well that's another very important thing to do if you want to know where all of the training areas are or how to get more of the chi super fast than lit or not let me know in the comments but um i'm gonna post in the description or in the comments a link to guides on how to do that because i know how to do that very fast because i do have the best rank so i'm just telling you guys basically how i got it so that you guys can get it fast also but next thing is, this is a very important tip, it should only take 30 minutes to get the next rank at the highest. So if you're almost able to get the next rank, let's say that I was trying to get one of the medium ranks, and then I had a sword that was decent, but it only gave me like maybe one a thousandth of what I needed or like one a hundred thousandth or something like that where it would take hours or even days to get the next rank then don't waste your time trying to get enough coins for that just keep buying all the swords and another really important thing to do is remember to always click a whole bunch whenever you're climbing up to the next island because if you aren't clicking you're just wasting time only climbing up but if you can't, because you gotta focus on climbing the islands, then that's good too. Because it's really important to climb the islands to get the next swords, because it's impossible to get the next rank while only being in the first island. Maybe you could get the first few ranks, but all of the other ones you would have to advance to the next islands to be able to get. Also, talking about buying stuff, you always gotta make sure to buy the best rank. 
So this is basically the opposite of the sword thing, where if you're already able to get it within just like 10 minutes of farming and the next sword would take away like 10 minutes because the sword is almost the same as the rank, don't waste your coins on buying the next sword. If you're already close to the next rank, just continue farming until you can get it because if you buy all swords then you lose all of your stuff. And it may take longer to get it with the next sword than just to have a little bit less per click, but already be halfway there. So that's really important to remember. Also, if you want to figure out how to get karma very quickly, again, check the description because I'll post links there on how to get karma and chi very fast. Because, well... I don't really fight people that often, so I don't have that much karma. I used to because I have 505 kills, but over 450 of them were when I used to fight people. Only 50 of them were, like, in the past week, so... But, yeah, that's everything for the guide, so make sure to subscribe and join the Discord server linked in the description so you don't miss any other videos or important announcements, but one last thing, a shout out to all my channel members, if you want to see your name on this list, all you have to do is press the join button to the left of the subscribe button, and your name will be on this list next video, so shout out to all of them, and hope to see you on the next video, bye YouTube.